Good morning creators and welcome to another UAFN tutorial. In this episode I'm going to show you multiple selection skills along with creating custom prefabs for your maps just to move assets between each level or experience. So let's get into it. So the first way to select is control or shift click. So the difference between shift click and control click is control click allows you to deselect and shift click allows you to only select. So if I want to shift click I can shift click and select all the props here that I want to use and you'll see it allows me to select it's pretty great if I wanted to deselect I can't really deselect using shift click so I have to switch to control click and control click will allow me to deselect though it also lets me select so it's kind of like a toggle system rather than select uh, or shift being a select only system and once you have everything selected you'll see it appears in the outliner all highlighted so that's a pretty great system although it's very inefficient so another method which is really helpful is to do control alt click which allows you to select a zone like this now one thing to note is that it only selects things within the view of this zone um, so anything behind it for example this grid or if there's something be below the chair it would not be selected unless it can see it so that's an inefficiency that is maybe convenient, maybe not convenient. So if you want to just select everything within that plane, go into perspective top, and then you can just click and drag, and it'll select everything within this plane, including things below, including the grid, including the camera, it selects everything within this zone. Of course, I can hit shift click to deselect the grid. If I'm in the outliner, I can also shift click or control click, I mean, to get rid of anything I don't want, for example, that camera. And I don't want to have the water zone or the water body or the level bound selected. So I just want to have these props. That's another useful selection tool. Um, if you want to select without having to deselect, another method is to turn anything you don't want to select invisible by hitting the icon here. And you will not be able to select it because it's invisible to your viewport. Uh, it will not show up in the in the viewpoint, but it will show up in game. So turning it invisible is not going to change the gameplay at all. Um, of course, you can always turn it back on. And if I want to turn the grid off, for example, and now you can see I can click and drag, and it will select everything I want without selecting anything I don't want because all the other things are invisible. So once you've selected everything, to make it a little bit easier on yourself, you're going to right click. And you're going to move to create a new folder. You can name this folder whatever you want by clicking on this and then clicking again when it's blue and you can name it. And of course you can expand or, or close it up. Uh, and if you want to turn everything in this folder invisible, you can hit the eye icon like this and it will turn everything invisible or turn it visible uh, just for easier selection. Of course I can turn everything back on if I wanted to. And if I were to want things to be uh, specific things to be invisible, I can always add my own folder. For example, if I want the level bounds and water to be in its own folder, I can select them all and add them to my folder. And so once you have all your assets selected within a folder, to move them between maps, you're going to select everything within, shift click, and it'll select everything within the row. So I click the first item, shift click, the last item. If I want to, for example, not have this glass wave, I can hit control click. To get rid of that but i want everything and once all that is done you can just hit Control c for copy and then load up a new level or a project i'm just gonna open up level because it's faster just gonna save selected and i'm inside of my map i'm gonna turn it back to perspective mode and to paste it in i'm first going to create a new folder just for convenience I'm going to select that and then I'm going to hit control V to paste and you'll see everything I want has been pasted in and I can easily go between and move it around however I want along the grid, along my own rotation, etc. So it's a really convenient system. Um, obviously the rotation of the gizmo is a little bit off but that's okay because I don't really need that. You can, I can always rotate it if I want. Um, so I hope you found this tutorial very helpful. 
If you did, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, go check out the rest of my tutorials, and I hope y'all have an amazing day, good luck creating.